Hey guys. Uh, so before we start, I mean, I would like to appreciate Manipal Prolon for giving us this opportunity to have a an informal discussion. Yeah. Uh, this this will help make it as interactive as uh, possible. So before we start, uh, you know, why don't we have a quick round of introduction? Sure. Mm -hmm. Hi Shankar, my name is Robin. Hi Robin. I'm a product manager, and I'm very much interested in uh, knowing more about digital marketing okay. so that I can promote my products here and there. Okay. Sure. Please. Yeah. Hi. Uh, this is Gayatri Balasubramaniam mm -hmm. and uh, I just want to start a uh, home-based business. Oh, okay. Uh, so, I want to learn about digital mar marketing so that okay. I can promote my products. It will be easier for me. Yeah, uh, so as, as an entrepreneur, business. how you can, huh. you know, product your business. Perfect. Yeah. Hi, I am Nitin. Okay. I just completed my graduation. Huh, okay. So, I want to build my career in this. So, I so we want to know. Fresh out of college can, and, yes. you know, cool. Great. So I'm Shankar. I have about uh, seven years of work experience, okay. a little more than three years of which was into digital marketing and web analytics. Uh, you know, I, I work with Google Hyderabad uh, as an account strategist, where I used to handle Google AdWords accounts of retail clients based out of the US, okay. right? Okay. So now we'll uh, have a discussion on, you know, what is the current digital scenario? Mm -hmm. And also we'll have a look at the course content and how it can help meet the different objectives that we just uh, saw, right? So if you were to start off with, you know, looking at the current uh, digital scenario, you know, digital is becoming this uh, super highway that's connecting the whole world. So, so only those brands that can keep pace with this unrelentingly moving uh, ecosystem can survive and uh, succeed, right? And uh, not only as brands, even as individuals, you all would uh, understand and acknowledge the fact that internet, internet has become a part and parcel of our everyday life. Yes. You know, it can be in the form of uh, you know, search engines, it can be in the form of social media, messaging apps, e-commerce portals, some way or the other, we all are accessing the internet day in and day out, right? Yes. Exactly. So if you were to, yeah. So if you were to look at some numbers, you know, uh, the reports say that about 3 billion people globally are online, you know. Exactly. So that's what, about 40% of the world population. So we are saying that 40% of uh, the world is online today, right? And it's interesting to know what they're doing online, right? So about 90% people do web search when they are online, right? So they are on search engines. And about 89% are on uh, you know, different uh, email platforms. 85% are on social networking sites. So, you know, these are some of, I mean, all of us uh, would, would, would be doing these, right? And uh, so at this point, you know, it's important to look at some uh, questions that, that we got to ponder over. So, you know, what is digital marketing? You know, we saw, we said digital is big. We, we looked at the numbers. Yeah. So, what exactly is digital marketing? How relevant is it in India? And, you know, how, if I were to start learning, where do I start? What are the platforms I should uh, master? And specifically about Google AdWords. If I were to learn Google AdWords, where do I start? Yeah. So, I'm sure you would have come across these questions, you know. So, if you have, then you are at the right place, yeah, right? Actually, um, I have one doubt. Mm -hmm. um, the advertisement which they are giving you, then okay. only they can pick it up from there. Okay. From online. Mm -hmm. uh, how it's getting up here? I mean, in okay, you are asking when someone searches, uh, you know, boutique business in Bangalore, yeah. how do you ensure that your ad comes at the top? Come, yeah. Exactly. So, so it's a little technical, but, uh, you know, this, the, we will be spending about one full session on this in the course, right? You know, so if that question intrigues you, yes, you are at the right place, right? Uh, and yeah, um, uh, good that you, you know, you kept your questions coming. Let's keep this as informal as possible. Yeah. Keep coming with your you know, questions and points. So uh, when we talk about India, as on end 2015, we had more than 4 million internet users. Wow. Right? So if you do the math, it's about a third of uh, the population. And, and that makes us the second largest internet and smartphone economy in the world. So which one is the first one? China, obviously, you know, okay. because of the size, right? And it's very interesting for me also because it allows me an opportunity to reach mm -hmm. out to multiple people with my products. Yeah. So it's an interesting fact which I recently read also that India has become one of the one of the largest audiences in terms of yeah actually models. yeah actually we 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 surpassed the U.S. in terms of smartphone usage very recently yeah. right so that's how big our internet population is and and when we say internet in India it's very important to talk about mobile internet so we have uh, more than 300 million mobile internet users as on December 2015. And 60% internet access in rural India happens through mobile. And reports also say that around 50% of internet access happens only through mobile phone, okay. right? So which means to say that if you are in a digital marketer and if you're not on mobile, 
you are possibly missing out on about 50% of your potential target audience, right? So that's how big mobile internet is. So is it, is it like the uh, mobile marketing is what you talk, talk about and is it a part of digital marketing? Yes. So so when we say specifically Google AdWords, okay. uh, we'll also be covering, uh, you know, how we can reach people on mobile devices. Perfect. Right? Perfect. And, and uh, it's also interesting to look at some moving trends, you know. Yes, internet in India is big. Uh, so some trends that are changing is that a uh, couple of years ago, about 40% of, only about 40% of internet population was above 25 years of age. In 2018, it is projected to be about 54%, which means that the internet population is becoming, is moving to a more matured age group, right? So if more matured age group people are on internet, it means that more important decisions will be taken based on the internet research, right? Yeah. And, and it's also spreading to the rural areas, right? You know, in 2013, we had about 29% uh, internet population coming from rural areas, which is going to become about 50% in 2018. Mm -hmm. And when I say suburban and rural areas, those are areas which are a little difficult to be reached via traditional marketing platforms, right? So, so in digital media, actually location is not a, a, a big constraint. Okay. We can reach out to people whom it was difficult to reach out uh, via traditional media, right? And, and uh, as we just saw, uh, internet usage is becoming more mobile, right? I have internet on my phone, I have internet on my tablet, so on and so forth. One question. Yeah, sure. So when we say that we have reached, we have a huge reach in rural India also, mm -hmm. is it only the shopping of digital marketing or, you know, through digital marketing or there mm -hmm. are other related ways also to reach the rural areas? Yeah, so for example, even, I mean, irrespective of the area, whether rural or urban, everyone has uh, data and a smartphone. Yep. Everyone knows how to search, yep. right? If you have an AdWords campaign, mm -hmm. if someone from a remote area searches for your product or, or a product which is related to uh, yours, you can, uh, you know, keep your settings in such a way that your ads reach that person. Okay. Right? So, so irrespective of the region, if that person is going to be interested in your product, why wouldn't you be, uh, you know, at the top of his mobile screen okay. when he's checking about your products, right? Yeah. So, so we have that kind of, uh, you know, location uh, setting options in our AdWords campaign to reach people. Perfect. Right? Perfect. Yeah. So this will help us, uh, <coughs> help rural people to ex expose their... Uh, yeah, themselves. so that's another advantage, you know, to, uh, m not only for marketers, even for people in rural areas, it's, 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 it, it's an enabler, to, yeah. so to say, right? And it's also interesting to look at some... Uh, uh, money figures, right? Studies say that in 2016, uh, the media spending in India is going to be about 7 billion and 16% of that is going to be digital media spend. And what is also interesting is that the percentage of the total ad spend coming from digital ad is, going, is, is increasing year over year. It was 12% two years ago. It is projected to become 22% in 2018. So digital is becoming more and more important chunk of the overall uh, ad spend in India, right? Okay, so now that we looked at the numbers, you know, the user base and the, the money and the different reach aspects of it, let us spend some time on understanding the qualitative aspects of the benefits that digital media offers. So as consumers, you know, before looking at the benefits businesses have, as consumers, let's look at some of the benefits. I mean, uh, you all know this, I don't have to say, you know, because of digital media, now we have multiple channels to to look through and search for information. You know, you have yes. uh, websites, you have search platforms, you have apps on your phone, you have review sites. So, so these things help us making a much better, much informed decisions on where to spend your money, right? So, so, so to put it in a, a single word, we mean to say that we have multiple channels to access information, right? And what also has digital done is simplifying the purchase process. So now buying a thing or, or hiring a service is as simple as two or three clicks on your phone and depending on the product or service, within a day or two, you'll have it on your doorstep, right? Yes, in fact, in fact, you just have to search on Google and, you know, some ad pops yeah, up. Yeah, so you don't even have to go to that app. Yeah, you yeah. search, you get the ad, you click on it, you go to the app or you go to the site. Yes. You do the purchase and you have the product on your, at your doorstep, right? Yes. So, so those are some benefits that we as consumers have. Now let's look at from a business point of view or from a marketer's point of view, two very important things that digital offers is real-time marketing and contextual targeting, right? So which is to say that you are not shown a digital media ad 
when you are not likely to be interested in it. Mm. Like for example, if you're searching for something, if you're searching uh, for a real estate in Bangalore, that is when you you get to see an ad which is about you know plots in Bangalore or flats in Bangalore. Okay. So so the ad is reaching you pretty much at the right time and at the right context, right? That. That, that are two of the major uh, you know, benefits digital media has. And another benefit is the wide reach. We, we already saw the numbers, right? Yes. You know, how uh, wide and far the reach uh, digital media offers is. So those are some of the qualitative benefits that digital media as a whole offers. And uh, you know, at this point, maybe we can look at some benefits specifically about search engine marketing. So I'm sure all of you, you know, use Google. So I mean, all of you search on Google and see ads and, and you all appreciate how relevant they are for, for your search. From a business point of view, uh, you know, the, the, the biggest benefit is that the campaigns are measurable and accountable. Okay. You can account to the last dollar or to the last rupee you have spent on a search engine marketing campaign uh, against your objective, right? Is this money really reaching my objective okay. or is it not? So that's the kind of measurability and accountability uh, SEM campaigns offer. And they're also very flexible, right? You know, at any point in time, you can you know, start or pause or re-enable your uh, AdWords campaigns and also change your budgets, right? If, if you feel that, uh, you know, the, you have some constraints and you need to reduce your budget, you can do that at any given point of time. Or if you say that uh, you need to be more aggressive, you need to spend a little more amount of money, you can increase your budget. So that's the kind of flexibility uh, uh, SEM offers you. You just said AdWords. Is uh -huh. it the same Google AdWords, which is like a search engine marketing, in, you know? Or? Yeah. So, so when we say Google AdWords, uh, it is search engine marketing campaign, the platform okay. offered by Google, yes. Okay. But it's not only that. It's also the GDM, the Google Display Networking, Okay. where Google has tied up with a lot of websites globally to show uh, ads on their site. Right. So when we say AdWords, it's both. It's search and GDM. Okay. Right. Uh, and another benefit is, you know, the capability of advertising locally or globally, right? You know, you can target, say, the whole world mm -hmm. or just a few countries or one city. Or if you say you have business only in a particular region, mm -hmm. particular locality, so it doesn't make sense to spend money on people outside that locality. Exactly. So we have the option of, you know, targeting only that region or only that locality. Okay. So, so that's another, you know, benefit that uh, AdWords brings to the table. And yes, my favorite is, you know, being able to reach the right people at the right time. We already saw uh, it in a couple of minutes ago, right? So, so now to put this in perspective, let's let's think, let's imagine we search something. Say we say, uh, buy watches online. You want to give watches to someone dear to you. If you, say, if you search buy watches online, mm -hmm. Google shows you results from stores or sites that will be selling watches. So you'll get to see their USP, you know, you'll, you'll have a link to their website or their app, and you'll also possibly see the price at which they're selling. Those are the text ads. Okay. You also have the shopping ads, which pop up on the right, where you can actually see the image of the product, yes. the title, the site or the store that sells that image, that, that product, and the price at which, you know, you can possibly buy it. So what more can you ask for when you are, you know, searching for... Uh, some information about buying a product online, yes, right? It saves my time also in order it to save a lot go of from yeah. site to site. Everything is in one place. Exactly. You know, you ask for it and, and you have it. Yes. Right. Quite and intelligent. Details, every, uh, details of that. Yes. You know, everything that you would want to know when you are uh, in your buying journey. Yes. Right. Yeah. Uh, nowadays, people doesn't want to go here and there and to buy buying things and all. That's right. So for they can uh, reduce their time. Correct. Yeah, so it, 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 it simplifies and, you know, quickens your purchase process, exactly. right? So at this point, you know, let's look at uh, specifically about Google AdWords. You know, um, when we say SEM, definitely Google is big, but it's, it's important to know how big is big, right? As on Jan 2016, Google enjoys about 65% of search engine share globally. That means 65% of all searches happening globally happens through Google. Google ad, Google search, right? And as I said a minute ago, Google AdWords is not only search engine marketing, it's also the Google Display Network. Okay. And studies say that about 89% of people who are on the internet are accessing sites that are a part of the GDN. So both these put together, both these numbers put together, we can safely conclude that, you know, if we are on Google AdWords, on search and uh, display, we are able to reach pretty much everyone who is on the internet. 
yeah. right? Yeah, great. So, so yeah, that's the kind of reach uh, AdWords offers. Yeah, and uh, you know, at this point, uh, uh, in case you have some questions, we can discuss that. In fact, I was thinking okay. uh, of a question like why Google AdWords, but I think you have just answered the question. Yeah, so the scale uh, talks for itself. Yeah. Yes. Uh, okay, so with that background, maybe you know we can look at the course content. You know uh, what uh, Manipal Pro Loans Google Digital Marketing Professional Program uh, brings to the table. Yep. So uh, basically, this is a course that is designed along the lines of Google's certification program. So it will be covering right from the basics of AdWords through to advanced segments of how you can actually create and manage AdWords campaigns and how you can optimize campaigns to maximize your traffic or ROI or whatever your uh, advertising objective may be. Okay. So what we're targeting is, you know, on completion of the course, uh, you should be equipped with an in-depth understanding of AdWords, the ability to create and manage accounts and the, the ability to optimize them to, mm -hmm. to maximize your returns. And obviously, since it is designed along the lines of uh, Google's AdWords certification program, this, will, this course will also help you in uh, getting certified and becoming a Google certified professional, right? I have a question. Yeah. So being a product manager, mm -hmm. you know, just certified and just getting known, you know, or just knowing a product doesn't help. Okay. So do I also get some hands-on in this course in order oh, yeah. to understand uh, AdWords? Okay. Uh, 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 wonderful that you, you brought it. You actually preempted my... Uh, next point. Okay. Yes, we do have uh, you know live uh, exercises. So you will have a live AdWords account mm -hmm. which you will be uh, handling okay. and which you will be working on independently. Great. Uh, we create it around after sixth or seventh session. By when you you would already have had uh, a, a strong b uh, basics of AdWords, and then you will have your own account and you can you know work on it. And we can even discuss those accounts in our you know, subsequent sessions. Right? Okay. Yeah. And, and in the classroom, do the instructors also, you know, explain live scenarios or some case studies and help us? Explain yeah. So, so we, we, we try to include, uh, you know, case studies in our discussions also. Perfect. So, uh, you know, that's exactly my next point. Uh, the span uh, of the course, it's actually uh, an 80 hours uh, course which spans across three months, mm -hmm. which includes classroom sessions by Google approved faculty. Mm -hmm. And as you rightly asked, live projects, which will be followed by, I mean, which will follow the classroom sessions. And you also have e-learning support from uh, Manipal's award-winning Edunext uh, portal. Okay. So whatever uh, decks or whatever materials we'll be going through in the sessions will already be up there in the portal. And you will have access to it. So, so uh, before coming to a session, if you already go through the, the deck once, it will really help you in, you know, uh, paying attention to and, you know, getting the maximum result out of the session. Okay. So for that, the Edunex portal will be of great help, okay. right? And yeah, and at the end of the course, you will have a joint certification from Manipal Global and Google, yeah? And when we designed this course, you know, the target audience we had in mind was uh, professionals, uh, you know, who want to upskill themselves in digital marketing, uh, marketing students who want to, you know, explore uh, career opportunities in digital marketing or uh, you know, entrepreneurs who want to market themselves online or even existing digital marketing professionals who want to uh, get certified, uh, uh, you know, professionally certified in uh, digital marketing, right? So if you are one of those, definitely this is the right course for you, yeah. right? And you said that the duration is? 80 hours, which spans across about three months. So is it like on a daily basis we have to attend the classes? Uh, it, it's weekly sessions. And, okay. and right at the beginning, you will have the complete course structure. Okay. So you would know on this particular week what will be the session that will be covered. And, and it span across three months. What about the certification? Is there any hmm? examination which we need to appear for in order to get Yeah, certified? so we have the uh, Google certification program. Okay. As I said, the course itself is designed along those lines. Okay. So during our sessions, we'll... Uh, you know, discuss sample questions which you can, which you are likely to have in the certification process. And it is an online test. You don't have to go anywhere. Okay. It's a free online test offered by Google. So through your Google account, your Gmail or whatever Google account, you can uh, access that test and get certified. And the test can be taken in the classroom itself? In the classroom or wherever you want. It's online. So you okay. know, uh, the, the, the place is not a whenever constraint at all. Whenever you want to. Yeah. Fair enough. That helps actually. Yeah. Okay. And uh, 
I would I would like to know more about you know uh, just like Nitin he mm-hmm. he is a fresher okay. once he does this course and he is being certified he successfully uh, gets the certificate okay what can uh, sure, he he will what can be the scope for Nitin in this career prospect of digital marketing okay so so if I get your question right you're talking about uh, freshers you know mm-hmm. who get uh, certified what kind of prospects they have right so uh, what I would recommend is you know if you go online if you check the different job portals or uh, LinkedIn. And if you just, you know, uh, search for keywords like SEM professional, pay-per-click, and just see for yourself, you know, the kind of, uh, the, the wide range of companies who are looking for uh, search engine marketing professionals, you know, right from beginner levels through to, you know, senior levels. Because companies are online, they are advertising themselves online. So definitely they need uh, professionals to take care of their uh, adverts uh, money, right? So, so do that, right? know, you uh, yes. go ahead, uh, sure. look at different job portals or uh, different uh, networking sites and check for yourself the kind of uh, uh, reach and potential uh, this course or this, uh, uh, you know, certification will have uh, in your job search. Yeah. Yes. Sure. Perfect. Okay. Yeah. One more question which comes and I would speak on behalf of Gayatri. Mm-hmm. So after undergoing this course, okay. Okay, will be will she be readily prepared to promote her business or her website online? Yes, that is the idea. Right? You know, for example, uh, uh, through the course itself, she would have started, uh, she'll uh, have that live account. Okay. She, not even after the course, even during the course itself, you can start off with the campaigns. And one of the benefits that we saw is the flexibility of the budget, you know. So you can start off with a very small amount of money mm-hmm. and play around with your account and see uh, what kind of returns are you getting, how you can tweak it better, and, and how you can ensure you reach the right people and you don't end up spending on irrelevant traffic, so on and so forth. And uh, within a month of time of the account running live, you'll be at a position to know exactly what amount of time and money, does it make sense to spend on the campaigns and what kind of returns uh, can you expect, okay. right? Okay. So so in simple terms, the answer to your question is yes. Yeah. And you were talking about more into analytics, so she will be also understanding about web analytics in this course? Yeah, we will we'll touch base on uh, you know how you can access Google Analytics and get a lot of information about uh, the activities happening on your site. Okay, I have one more doubt. Mm-hmm. And uh, once we are done the uh-huh. course, mm-hmm. we are getting a certification. Right? Yeah. So after that, is there any validity for the certification? Oh yeah. So so uh, the the basic certification has a two year validity, okay. and the advanced has a one year validity. So it just means that you know nothing to worry about. It just means that uh, at the end of one year, you'll have to go yeah. back and do the test again. Okay. I need to take test again. Yeah, you just have to do the Google uh, certification program. Okay online test again and get certified again. Yeah. Even if we got a job or something. Yeah, of course, already. I mean, uh, the certificate is valid for one year, so. Okay. Yeah. okay. And Shankar, there are a lot of digital marketing courses in the market. Mm-hmm. Why should I go with the Google's program? Okay, so uh, you already saw the, the numbers, right? You know, when we yes. say, you know, uh, 65% uh, search happening through Google. So this course as such is, uh, you know, it is actually... Uh, organized by Manipal in association with Google themselves. Okay. And and the course structure is designed along the lines of the certification program. Okay. So that helps us uh, to ensure that the course is up to date. You know, it, it keeps changing. It's a very dynamic uh, uh, you know, platform. So we can be sure that you know we are update okay. with the latest. Okay. And the faculty are also you know Google approved faculty. Okay. So you can be sure that you know uh, you get a good exposure and and uh, live uh, hands on experience as we just saw. Perfect. Right. Okay, that answers my question. Yeah. Thank you. Cool. So, so I, I think we can uh, wrap it up. So, yeah. Thanks a lot. Nice meeting you guys. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Thanks a lot. It was a great day. Sure. Thank Thanks. You.